Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Once again, it is time for a lower body day. And uh, I did what I said I was gonna do. Uh, I wanna focus on beltless paw squats. Uh, I found out last week, there's a reason I didn't do the Friday workout. Uh, they were way harder than I thought they would be. I haven't been doing enough deep stretch position stuff for my quads. And so when I went to do uh, my top work set, I got stapled. I got stapled, I almost felt like I pulled an ab and it was later, it was, it was fine later. So I just kind of called it a day and did a bunch of reverse hypers. Uh, so I didn't put the vlog up, but today I'm like, let me come in, let's really work on this. Um, I went ahead and just put 365 on the bar. I'm like, well, let me do some deep, as deep as I can go, uh, two count paw squats and just kind of see how many reps I can get. And three reps was pretty hard. So for me, this is kind of humbling uh, because you guys know kind of what I've been squatting these days and it's been going back up but this is where I built most of my original strength this this exercise is how I originally got my squat back to 500 pounds it was a huge factor uh, so I'm like let me just do it the thing of course I always notice is you, the loose skin is always more prominent on the lower body stuff especially beltless but I'm like let's just do it anyways who cares all right it's going to get tighter as I get leaner uh, and like I've said before wear it with pride wear it with pride it is a sign of the massive amount of weight loss i went through before uh and it will get tighter as i get leaner so who cares right let it hang out all good uh, but it is always more noticeable on the lower days and i accept that so here's the thing uh that was challenging <laughs> that was really challenging and i'm also like let's just do stuff the hard way let me go back to a stiff bar and go beltless man the difference and this is why I tell guys, man, that belt, uh, the whippy bars, people pulling with bumper plates, look how much you get out of it. Because when I did my deadlift bar with a belt the other day, I got 500 for seven. We got 500 for seven reps. Today I got four. So what's the deadlift bar? What's the belt worth? That's what it's worth. But let's come in and just work on real strength. So here's going to be the goal. Just like on the upper body days we're going to do our two exercises we're going to work on getting really strong with hard variations okay and i've been wanting to kind of go back to that for a little while doing the beltless pause thing really focus on the depth my quads need it okay and then i'm like then i'll do pump work with the same thing strict form full ranges of motion here's the thing that i i found though on this belt squat for some reason and i feel like i am going as deep as i can possibly go from the side angle, um, it doesn't look like <laughs> like it's parallel. Now, as you guys will notice, that is my full range of motion because look at my hamstrings pressing against the calves. Really all I can do. And a lot of it's the angle the belt squat pulls you into. This is one reason, you know, I really like a leg press more than a belt squat these days. The narrow stance is uncomfortable because again, it, it rubs your, pretty much rubs your groin, uh, the belt does. But I'm going to stick it through anyways because this is what I need to do. And I may work on seeing if I can if I can set this up uh, even narrower than this. All right? Uh, and I almost feel like I need to find a way to get the belt adjusted to where I can do that. So that I can take an even narrower stance and really sink deep. But even doing this, this was harder. I'm like, let me pull those extra plates off. Let's go as deep as we can. Let's just get really high reps. And they were around 15. I just was burning. So I got to get used to this again. And then maybe I'll do some true sets to failure. Uh, because these were pretty close. But I don't really, it's, it's hard to approximate that. So they were challenging enough that I got a heck of a burn in my quads. But I want to see if I can find a way to get even deeper, pause all this stuff, and really, really stretch those quads as much as I possibly can because that's what I have to have, okay? We've got the big weight covered already on the, the first two exercises, right? We have that on both the days. After that, it really does need to be about just building muscle. That's why uh, everything you saw was, most of it was 12 plus reps yesterday. These are, are a little different mainly because the glute ham raises, when I'm trying to do these slower, I'm trying to do these just a little more controlled, make sure I go all the way down, uh, about 10 is all I could handle, even with no weight. Now, part of it could be, I could be slightly detraining uh, because last week wasn't a good lower body day. Yeah, we did a great deadlift set day, but we only did a couple couple sets for quads, okay? 
did a couple sets for quads and they were a little high, right? We did a great set of deadlifts and we did some reverse hypers. I mean, that was the whole week and that was Tuesday. It was a week ago. Uh, you know, that really isn't enough. Even if you run it, you're going to talk about minimalism, probably not enough other than that top set of deadlifts was phenomenal. So it's like, we've got to come in and get this done. So I did after the two top sets, I did a super set with the three sets of glute ham raises, uh, three sets of belt squats. And that's a little more, more workload uh, because again, quads and everything. And what I really want to do is make sure I got five hard work sets for each muscle group. Okay. So that's why I finished off with a set of reverse hypers for the posterior chain and hamstrings. Uh, because again, the deadlifts hits hamstrings, quads, uh, yeah, I count the deadlift as a quad exercise, but we did the deep pause squats. That's definitely a quad exercise. My quads actually hurt on it. They almost felt sharp pain right in the middle of them. Because again, my quads aren't used to those deep stretches, which tells me something. I've got to fix it. Because if I can get strong out of the bottom of squats, I'm good. Plus, I need muscle, 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 muscle. We're working on body composition. We're going to work on better, better aesthetics. Uh, so again, I've got to get leaner, get more muscle. But I can't neglect the lower body muscle. In fact, that makes getting leaner easier uh, to put more muscle on the lower body. You know, and I thought about adding some calves back in, but I realized all that calf work I did did not put for months, put no size on my calves. Because someone asked me, did I measure them? I measured again at the end of all that. And they were a quarter inch smaller. They looked bigger. But the other thing is my calves get a pump doing all this other stuff. And, and I don't think people realize that. For me, my quads activate on all these exercises really hard. Plus the sled work. So I'm not that worried about it. And if I need to, if my arms start getting bigger than my calves, then, you know, I'll, I'll focus on a little more. But I did think about doing it. It was a thought. Um, but again, we come back over to just, just, it's just more axial loading. And I feel like if I'm going to have a barbell on my back right now, I should just be doing more back squats. Which, you know, may be the route that we have to go here. Um, because, it, again, I feel like on these belt squats, the, the, the problem is even the device, they're never really that comfortable. That's why they're overrated. I feel like unless you have the, the west side one, which is like eight or $10,000 or whatever with their setup, you know, and where you do have a true cable pulling straight down in the middle, no lever arm, no arms like this. Um, this is why I don't understand why people do a pendulum squat. They're like, oh, there's a pendulum squat. I'm like, really? That can't even be a good <laughs> bar path. It just looks, it looks as awkward as this, you know? Back in the day, I had access to those 45 degree plate loaded leg presses, the old school ones, the simple ones. They were so effective. You know, you, you squat and then do some leg pressing your quads were, were good to go. You were done. But um, looking at all this, yeah, I, I may need uh, I may need to go back that route again of where I just do some, some pause back squats instead, and I might have to do that. So I'm going to think about it, and it might be uh, an option. right? It might be what we need to do uh, to get the quad activation that I need. Because I, like I said, I felt those, but I felt it so much more on, on the pause squats. Uh, and again, I know what the pause squats do for me. So that might be what I have to do, All right? Might be what we have to do. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.